our topic is about measurement. What is measurement? Measurement is the act or process of obtaining the size or amount of a material. In chemistry, measurement is very important since substances to be used in chemical reactions and in preparing samples are taken in certain amounts. So in the lecture, we already have the significant figures in which these are the number of digits in a value, often a measurement that contribute to the degree of accuracy of the value. So it focuses more on accuracy. Well, we have scientific notation. In scientific notation, it is a way of expressing a number in the exponential form. So this expression is helpful in reporting a very large or a very small number. What you need to know. So first things first, you need to understand the basics. There are two systems of measurement. The U.S. or customary system and the second one is metric system which is used all over the world also known as SI unit or the standard international unit. So in U.S. customary system, it has many different units of measurement and also have completely different conversion factors. Well, in the metric system or SI unit, the metric system has a base unit and many different prefixes. So in measurement basics, we have the length, which measures the distance. For the volume and capacity, it is how much something can hold. Generally, we hold or we have the measurement for liquid. Next is for the weight, how much something weighs. And for the mass, how much space something takes up. So in weight and in mass, weight tells how much something weighs, while in mass it is how much space something takes up. For example, if we have both 1 kilogram of nail, iron nail, and 1 kilogram of cotton, which has more weight? Kapag tinanong anong mas mabigat, isang kilong pako, isang kilong bulak. So, walang mas mabigat dahil parehas lang silang weight, parehas silang 1 kilogram. But, pag tinanong natin, how much or which has more mass, yung isang kilong pako o yung isang kilong bulak. So, mas maraming mass yung isang kilong bulak kasi mas marami tayong kinakailangang bulak kaysa doon sa pako. So, that's the difference between weight and mass. Next is the metric units of measurement. So, for the meters, it measures the length. Liters measures volume or capacity. Grams measures the weight or the mass. For the units of measurement in terms of volume, so we have the difference between the U.S. system and the metric system. So in the U.S. system, we have different units of measure. It's either cups, pints, quarts, gallons, fluid, ounces. In metric system, we only have one standard unit and we use liters. In terms of the units of measurement, length, so in U.S. system, we have 4 inches, feet, yards, and miles. And in metric system, in terms of length, we only use meters. In terms of weight or the mass, in U.S. system, we have the ounce, pound, and tons. While in metric system, we only use gram. The metric system prefixes. So for milli, we have 1 over 1,000, which means that 1,000 millimeters is equal to 1 meter. Then centi, deci, deca, hecto, kilo. Yeah, we have metric system prefixes. Then we have also here the U.S. conversions. Pero hindi ko na naman siya sinama sa activity nyo. So for your activity, we're just going to use the metric system. Uh, we're just going to follow for the 
system of the length for the, or the unit for the length is meter, unit for the weight or mass is gram, and unit for the volume is in liters. Okay, let's try to convert 500 kilometers to meters. So in the line sequence, kilometers is here in this position. So in 500, imagine that there is a decimal point after the zero. And then how many places are we going to move? From this kilometer to hectometer, one, to decameter, two, meter, three. So we're going to move three decimal places. So from here, we're going to add three zeros. One, two, and three. So the answer will be 500,000 meters. So the conversion of 500 kilometers to meters is 500,000 meters. For the next example, let us convert 10,000 milligrams to kilograms. So in the sequence, milligram is positioned here. So how many decimal places are we going to move in order to reach kilograms? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we're going to move 6 decimal places. So for 10,000 milligrams, let's imagine that the decimal place is written here. So we're going to move 6 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 6. So decimal place will be placed in front and then you're going to add 0. The answer will be 0 0.01 kilogram. So 10,000 milligrams is equal to 0 0.01 kilogram. Temperature conversion, we have units of measure, degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. In converting degree Fahrenheit into degree Celsius, we have 5 divided by 9 or 5 over 9 multiplied to degree Fahrenheit minus 32. For degree Fahrenheit, so we have 9 over 5 multiplied to degree Celsius plus 32. For Kelvin, we have degree Celsius plus 273.15. So for the example, we have here convert 16 degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. So for the formula, we have degree Fahrenheit equals 9 multiplied to 16 divided by 5 plus 32. So we have 28.8 plus 32. The answer will be 60.8 degree Fahrenheit. Next is convert 20 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So first we need to subtract 32 from 20. So 20 minus 32. The answer is negative 12. And then we will multiply to 5 and then divide it by 9. So the answer will be negative 6.67 degrees Celsius. So that is how you convert temperature.